Hey everyone, this is Tragic, and today we're going through an older set of dead collectible card game called Guardians. On my uh, last video on Hyborian Gate, someone mentioned this game, um, mentioning that the art was similar and cool. So I figured, hey, I'll check this out. Turns out this is another dead card game where they're not too expensive. I got six packs for about 12 bucks. So let's check them out. Uh, I am kind of fascinated by um, this archaeology, I guess you could say, of uh, the old card games. This is made by FPG, which I think they're out of business now. And this is the uh, limited edition booster pack. I, I guess it's like essentially their alpha, which of course didn't mean a whole lot in the end. But here we go. Let's just take a look. And I'm just kind of interested in kind of the history of this non-MTG stuff have you seen on my channel Guardians here's the back of it. it looks pretty nice the kind of stuff that Magic the Gathering probably would have loved to do at one point oh mountains very original uh, and of course I don't know how to play this game I did kind of look at the Wikipedia to see the basic gist um, something about zones and capturing parts of the battlefield and stuff like that there's a cow got a yard rat like a ship hand pirate guy the uh, cardstock is interesting. It's, uh, I would say, it's almost slightly slightly thinner than a magic card, just by a hair. And it has kind of like a, like a, it's almost like a matte gloss. That's interesting. Got an Axeman. So the art is really cool. It's very, yeah, yeah, it's solid. Kind of uh, somewhat cartoony I have seen, but also um, kind of like serious, if you will, like, comic book style fantasy art so uh axiom has got a vitality of four uh there's a coin down there this one's this guy's got a mug and some lips so i don't know what all of that means he is a pirate that makes sense um but yeah you'd have to kind of like learn the game so this wailing specter is like a different border a black border so is that more better in some way i don't know it's an undead very cool art I, i'm just fascinated by um the art styles in some of these old games so it's really cool We've got a corporal he's immune to fear tiny flying fungus do a ranged attack we got a magical item a rooster <laughs> excellent at the beginning of your turn move first even if you don't have the highest up card so being a magic guy and knowing all the magic jargon that just sounds weird magic item anvil of heaviness all attacks versus creatures defending a stronghold are plus seven vitality. Effect lasts for one combat. Play before combat starts. So, I mean, you could kind of get the gist of that stuff. A varmint rain archer. Kind of like an anthropomorphic rat dude. He's a varmint. Brownback. Some, like, troll guys. They're goblins, actually. Plus four vitality versus large creatures. So he's got three vitality. And, I mean, that sounds like toughness to me. How do they attack? So you, I, I don't know. I'm probably not going to learn this game completely. Archer, that's really cool. Art right there. Artwork, 1995 Mates. The artist on that. Very cool. And this one is uh, Plug. So that's the, the last name of Mike Plug. Um, old school comic book artist. Actually he used to draw Werewolf by Night uh, for Marvel Comics. Just beer. Beer bribery, in fact. So that must have been part of the game. Just, I don't know, bribe your opponent, bribe a character. Very cool. I'm, uh, I'm kind of, kind of digging the style of this. I like the, the borders. I think and the, the larger art style is something that uh, early Magic kind of lacked on. I think so. Design choices came later. Another mountains. Look at this guy, Plugak the Conqueror. He's awesome. Uh, artist is Parkinson. Excellent. A male titan. It's got lips. I don't know what that means. Greater air, air elemental. A cleric. A thackle. That thing's awesome. The dry heap. So and I, I don't know what would be a rare card in this. Oh, wow. There we go. Babe's bribery. Now we're talking. So that's what I oh, got a couple of these got a duplicate. Um, yeah, that was probably the, the idea back in the nineties was to get 
young males like me interested in this game. You'd have to have some artwork like that. An Iron Crag Bugler. I like him. Can't use any ranged attacks in this combat. It's a fairy. The Wood Spirit Desert Giant. And then Gold Bribery. So I'd have to look up what the bribery mechanic is. Has a cost of seven. It must be some kind of way to mitigate whatever's going on with your opponent. Pretty interesting stuff. And of course this game never took off. The Dry Heaps. So another kind of like land zone. Sort of like a swamp. Bone Shambler. Awesome. Can accept up to six points of channeling. Sure. As you do, there's a supermodel. Destroys any creature who can be bribed by babes. So babes is a faction in this game. That's kind of funny. There's a zombie. The, the classic. Uh, the arcane mutterings of the twisted spawn. Twisted. Spawn the animated filth that walked the hidden ways. So that's just flavor text. That's not an actual... Uh, mechanic there big groaning cankered it's a cankered is the type creature type there leprechaun cool so that's more mike plugart a wild nymph snogwort i i actually really like the art style on this it's very cool i think i like it it's better than high boring gates you got more than two artists that are doing exactly the same thing with really like leftover art so you got another duplicate in the same pack Captain, a jibber, power lunch. When played during combat, any one creature may receive channeling for one matchup. That sounds important. And snow daughters. Very cool. So, yeah, I don't know anything about the rarity of these. Um, so, yeah. If anyone knows down below, let me know. Did I pick up any of the, the heavy hitters for this game? If there are any. That spires. Excellent art there by Parkinson, whoever that is. Hammer of Doom by Braum. Okay, that's a this guy's drawn for magic. I recognize that name. Monolith of Power, Plug again. Very cool. Another male titan, a yard rat, some more bar, uh, babes bribery. Baleful Eye. Brownbacks. Tiny Flying Fungus. The juice, the old mold, babe hound. Each of your creatures fighting an opponent who can be bribed by babes receives plus four vitality. And a seer. And the hairy hobbins. Interesting. Yeah. <clears throat> kind of liking it. There's, of course, unfortunately nothing to do with them now at this point. Other than... Appreciate the history. More spires. Let's call Wraith. Can accept up to 16 points of channeling. It's undead. What's the C? I don't know what the CMP is. There's green and red. <clears throat> demon Horde of Kabod. It's a demon. Can heal one demon horde. Snibs Bony Ridge. Some goblins. And then the Bungee Bony Ridge. Kind of like the same set of art there. Mike Plug again, yep. Swordsman. Earth Elemental. Fungus again. Wood Spirit. Dreaded Doom Dog. Oops, get on camera here. Baleful Eye. The Seer. The Water Nymph. And a Black Lung. Plus Vitality in Rivers and Lakes. Alright, well, one more left. Thanks for stopping by. Make sure to like and subscribe. Let me know down below what you think of this. Just kind of interesting. The dry heaps again. The Holy Grail. That sounds important. It's a magic item. Play during the draw and organize phase. All your creatures lost that turn. Return to your storage hand if there's room. One power stone which we spent to use the grail. So, I mean, it's all... After seeing Magic the Gathering come out as a game, other companies must have just had the, the idea like oh yeah we can make a game like that we'll just kind of reorganize things like hands and graveyards and libraries and you know creatures and toughness so there were attempts to make that happen at the time pepe's slowdown and a standard bear the shield creatures under the shield win all pushes in mashups sure pushes combat phases stuff like that iron lord 
Elemental Lord. Vitality of 10 sounds important. Brownbacks, Swordsman. These seem, seem like commons since we've seen several of them. Clamjacks, the Crook End Snoot. Cool art. Ice Elemental. That is awesome. Very cool art on that. Female Titan. And the Mule. There we go. So that is that for Guardians. Collectible card game, trading card game from 1995. Did not make it. Uh, I think there are some expansion packs of this out there. If there's such high demand for me to do so, maybe I'll get some of those and we can check them out later at some other time. Thanks for stopping by and watching. I appreciate it. Uh, Tragic MTG. See you later.